All right, I have to disable the automatic lock and unlock feature on a Honda Civic, so come along, I'll show you how it's done. Okay, and the reason we're doing this is basically um, some Hondas, including this Civic, have a default feature where the doors automatically lock or unlock. Um, basically, as far as locking goes, they can be programmed to lock when you uh, take it out of park, like go to reverse, or when the vehicle goes over 9 miles per hour. And that's usually the default setting for these Civics, is once it hits 9 miles per hour, it'll lock them up. Now, in the case of unlock, they can be programmed to, uh, to unlock the doors when it's shifted back into park. So once you put it into park, boom, they open. Or, and that's for automatics, and then, or for, for manual transmissions, once you turn it to the uh, number one or accessory position, then it'll unlock them for uh, manuals. So, I'm not a fan of that. The owner isn't a fan of that, and so that's why we're going to go ahead and correct it right now. All right, as a little demo real quick, I'll show you. You can see they're unlocked right now, and I'll take it and put it into reverse. And you can see they immediately locked. And now watch, I'll put it back in park, and you can see they unlocked. So we're going to disable that. All right, and for this, it's important to note the zero or the off position, the one, which is also called the accessory position, and the two, which is the on position. We need to know those three if we're going to do this. All right, first thing we'll do is we'll disable the lock feature. Now, we need to make sure our parking brake is off and we're in park. And we've we'll, we'll got our key handy. Now we'll open the door. We'll take our key. We're going to put it in the number two position. So we're in the on position. We're going to activate the parking brake. Now we're going to come over here. And we're going to press the lock. And we're going to hold it for five seconds. And it should lock them. Then we'll release it. And then we'll come over here. Put it in the number one position for a second. And then we can turn it off and take it out. That should have set, or that should have disabled the automatic locking on here. And we can verify real quick. You can see I got the vehicle running. We're unlocked. We'll just go ahead and put it in reverse and you can see they stayed unlocked. Now we'll go ahead and lock them and we'll verify that the unlock still is um, working. And you can see it is. So now we got to disable that. All right, now we got to disable that uh, automatic unlock feature. And I found it's best cycle the key, turn the vehicle on, turn it back off, open the door so we can kind of start from zero again. We need to make sure our parking brake is off and we're in park. We got our key in our hand. So we'll go ahead and open the door. And then we'll take our key. Put it in the number two position, activate our parking brake, and then we'll come over here. We'll hold the unlock for five seconds till it clicks again. And then we'll release it. Then we'll come over here, turn it to the one position for a second, and then we'll take it out. And that should have locked it in. All right, now let's verify everything is uh, disabled. As you can see, we're unlocked. I got the vehicle running parking brake off. We'll put it in reverse. You can see it did not lock them. Now I'll go ahead and put it back in park and then I'm going to lock them this time and now we'll go into drive and now if we did it correct they should stay locked once we go back into park and you can see they did so we're fixed. Now, the vehicle in this video was a 2006. Sometimes they can be a little finicky and you gotta go through all those steps. Later models, I think they eased up on that a little bit. You don't usually have to mess with the uh, parking brake at all or you can just leave it up in the up position before you even start. And, um, and later models, instead of going to the one position at the end, you just turn it all the way off and pull the key out. So they made it a little bit easier. So this one seems to be the, the most difficult of the, the uh, eighth generation Civics. So, as always, hey, if the video helped you out, you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.